Hey, what's up, turtles? It's Crick here with Black Eye Outdoors. Stoney and I are out today in the forest shooting some videos, and we come across this plant which I really wanted to do a video on when it was in flower. Didn't get the chance, that's just the way things goes. But I wanted to still share this plant with you because it's a really cool plant, it looks really cool, and there's a lot of sort of medicinal uses that is being applied right now in um, a lot of different avenues. But down here in front of me, I'm actually surrounded by this plant. It's the, it's the May apple. Common name is the May apple. It's a uh, Latin name, Podophyllum Potatum. Potatum, any way you want to pronounce it. And uh, real quick before I move on to the plant, I do like Latin names, the taxonomic names of plants and animals. Plants specifically because, for one, it's one it's one name designated for the plant. And potentially, if you're if you're trying to find a wild edible and someone knows a plant but they're calling it a common name and it has 30 common names, maybe it's not like it just it really just keeps things simple. For me, when I'm learning something, just to, just to get, use one name for it, and then that way everyone knows and can call it the same thing. Potentially, someone's not po pointing out a poisonous plant or a different plant because it because it has a similar common name as a different plant. There's just one name. That's why I use the Latin names in the videos. Why I choose to learn them just because that way is just one name for the plant. Keeps things straighter in my mind. Anyways, this is the May apple. You can see it from the ground cover. Stony showing you the angle. It has these. This palmate lobed leaf coming out here. Usually there's two of them on the plant. If it's gonna flower, usually there's two there's two leaves on the plant. Like I said, I'm apologizing apologizing because I didn't we didn't get a chance to do a video when it was in flower. It has really cool white flowers. Five, six petal, I think broad, really cool flower. But anyways, I'm still gonna show you this because it's uh, it's in fruit right now. And this is the fruit down here. You want it in direct sunlight or This is the fruit, and it's and this fruit is edible in small quantities. I'm not going to tell anyone to eat this fruit. If you eat too much of it, it's going to make you sick. The reason why this plant is used medicinally is because of the properties it has, and eating it is not one of you know, the reasons why it's used medicinally. But this is going to be ripe here in a little bit, maybe a month or so. As you can see, there's two leaves coming out, and this is where this is the flower. This is the end parts of the flower here. This is where the flower would have been a nice cool little you know flower maybe this size this is the fruit comes up at this where it bifurcates and these two plant and the excuse me the two leaves come up this is where the flower is and this is a spring plant but it's still persisting this longer into the summer <clears throat> which is you know different than most spring ephemerals but this plant is used specifically as a as a cell inhibitor it's used topically uh, some of the derivatives is used topically for genital warts things like that if you are gonna if you would eat this plant it's really gonna make you sick quick and maybe that's why you'd want to take it it might why you'd want to ingest it it's going to clean you out all ends not it's not like a laxative it's just literally going to flush your system really quick pretty violently probably and it's used in cancer certain types of cancers as well there's uh podof uh, podof uh podophilic toxins that there's two derivatives from this plant they use as a cell inhibitor for certain types of certain types of cancer and it's just a really cool plant. It's really easy to die D. It really creates this really cool small sort of canopy on the ground. It's growing all around me. There's fruits everywhere. This one's kind of cool how it has this little crink in it. It's little crooks in it. It's kind of cool. Cool looking plant. Actually, here we have some flowers from the tulip tree. Come down from the tulip tree, Liriodendron, I believe. Kind of cool on the ground. Anyways, I just want to I just want to reiterate that coming out in the forest and learning as much as you can about the forest, just keep your perspective and make sure that you're not always looking at the forest of what is that and what can it do for me or how can I use that. I this is a perspective I try to keep for myself when I'm out in the forest. Is I really want to learn as much as I can about everything. That's just you know my interest in who I am. But I also want to make sure that I'm not looking at the forest as something I can always use and what's it gonna do for me. I wanna make sure I really keep the value of the forest intrinsic just from its beauty, its natural beauty and how I connect with it and what it does for me on a personal level and not just how can I use every single thing out here. Um, but anyways, this is the May apple. It's a really cool plant. And this is Craig signing out with Black Outdoors. Later turtles.